Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. It is true what we have always been saying, family, that nothing ever works that has ZANU-PF in it. If anything that ZANU-PF touches would never work. ZANU-PF may start a thing, make noise, celebrate, onulate, blow on their own trumpets, and you might think that it is going to be great. But at the end of the day, everything of ZANU-PF will come back crumbling down like an old hat out of season. So this comes after the defeat that we have seen of uh, the ZANU-PF boss's children that were at the Olympics that is Zimbabwe when people have refused to back up. So after the, very, the last race that happened where they came out and qualified for the very final that we have seen uh, recently, uh, there was quite a lot of noise and commotion in ZANU-PF. George Charamba was excited and he was all over and Nick Mangwana and the, the rest of Varakash. Of course, we knew that very, very soon uh, they are flame of fire is going to die down as quickly as possible and it really happened the same very way because when it came to the finals it demonstrated that anything that is an opf will never work so joseph kalimbe finally is uh, said to george charamba there is no fuzz at the olympics and this is one thing that uh, i i loved my lungs out when i saw this Kalim, when George Charamba, they are always in battles. <laughs> and Kalim writes uh, on his Twitter and he says, Dear George, there is no fuss there at the Olympics. <laughs> and uh, people were celebrating. In fact, uh, Alinaka also saying here, uh, fellow citizens, don't be uh, guilt tripped by those uh, hoping to be recognized by the devil. Tenda uh, Shauri, right? So that's what happened there at the Olympics. Uh, as much as they thought that their children were going to succeed, I saw the videos of uh, the Marakarao family and how they were excited. The whole family gathered watching the television and they were so happy celebrating. And uh, when the name was mentioned of the of the Makarao son, ah, there was joy, jubilation and joy. And then when the rest started, at first they were cheering up. But when it came to somewhere towards the end of the, sh the race, uh, they were all frozen because they'd seen that the guy was off. And I think the guy is this one, uh, the one who is second from the last. The one at the far end last is George Charamba's uh, uh, son. And it has been bad. The, the, the winner has been a, a guy from Botswana. And uh, we say, well done to Botswana. It, uh, it, has, it has really been a good uh, sprint. But unfortunately for ZANU-PF and George Charamba and their kids, uh, we are not going to join them. We won't celebrate or we won't even join that. In fact, Zimbabweans were wishing them bad. Why? Because we are having the, uh, George Charamba mocking a, a mother who is a one-year-old child in prison. George Charamba was mocking that child. Yeah, that is somebody's child who is one year old, who is innocent. And he now wants Zimbabwean people to join him to celebrate his sons at the Olympics. It doesn't work like that. People refused. And everyone in Zimbabwe was wishing that it doesn't succeed. They don't succeed. And indeed, they did not succeed, definitely. So for those maybe that have... Right, that's how it happened. So there is the Botswana guy who came out first. And uh, we say congratulations to Botswana. And I saw videos of uh, Botswana celebrating... It started just soon after the very show, the very rest, I mean to say, uh, they were out already. What's on our way out? I'm sure the jubilation was throughout the night, and I'm sure it is still happening. And the president of Botswana finally declared an afternoon off uh, from work for all uh, for the whole nation, for them to receive their hero and celebrate with their hero. I just imagine if it was ZANU-PF, hey, we're going to be in serious trouble. I'm telling you, Sadiq Summit would have started today. If it did happen. So at times, God knows how to shut down some other noises that were unnecessary. 
that were going to happen in Zimbabwe. I'm telling you, already they were at, uh, when they won the last show, the last race that took them to this very last one, the final one, there was already the attachment of Munangagwa in it, a lot of other Varakash coming out to say, Dr. E.D. is a great leader. Look at what has happened with those boys at the Olympics, and you are going to see Zimbabwe is going to shine because of Dr. E.D. Where does Dr. E.D. get in there? You know, just attaching where things don't don't link, where there is no attachment whatsoever, just just for grandstanding. And you can tell that Zanu PF is nothing to celebrate, is nothing to show for it. That's why they just clutch on straws and they blow their trumpets over things that are just stupid. Just like this very sad thing, this very sad uh, chairmanship is just nothing. There is nothing so extraordinary about it, you know. It's not, it's not like this, these sad uh, caucuses are going to be happening every day and Mnangagwa will be, you know, nothing. And this is a rotational thing which goes from country to country. Next year, August, if they finally put him, next year, August, he will be handing over again to somebody else. That is if he will be there. <laughs> but I don't think Mnangagwa will be there until August next year. That's too far. He will be gone. So whatever the excitement uh, that Zanpev people have, we are still watching and saying, how far are you going to get to? But you just find that uh, uh, this is what it is. So they've sponsored, uh, they've put so much money, Zanpev put so much money into this because they knew that the people that were in the race were their own children. And uh, we've seen now today, they were now changing the language, toning down a bit. I heard Zanpe uh, Patriots saying that at least you reached the finals. And I heard, uh, 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 who is this, Nick Mangwana, also coming to write that uh, you still remain our heroes. Nevertheless, you know, now it's down. It's, it's watered down. But the noise and the uh, expectation that they had uh, in the previous uh, race, it was just off the roof. And we knew in any way that uh, very soon they are going to calm down. That's the fire of ZANPF. The fire of ZANPF will just go like the flame goes boom once. It starts burning. And uh, before you know it, it's, it dies down and everything else is over. That's how they, they, they survive. And that's who they are. Everything about ZANPF does not work. So Kalimbe is reminding George Charamba that there is no fuzz at the Olympics. So there is no victimization. There are no people that are frogmarched. You don't rig. There are no you know, registration tables there that you can rig that race. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> that's where you can see that, no, if you are not competent, you are not. So quite a lot of people have been talking about this and some even saying uh, without uh, working politics, nothing will also work in the country. And indeed, that is very true. Look at what has happened to our sports with the Kest Coventry being one of the worst ministers that Munangagwa has ever appointed. But of course, Munangagwa is for mediocrity. mediocrity. He loves the failures. He loves to associate himself with failures. And our sports has just been destroyed by Kesti Coventry. Uh, at one point, I even heard that some of the meetings at the ministry are attended by a husband. Just imagine, I don't know where she will be. Uh, for her to send a husband to go and represent or go and chair a meeting, it's so surprising. But for, to Mnangagwa, it's nothing. It's just nothing. Mnangagwa wants to just beat his chest to say, I have a white person in my government. That's, that's, that's all that is in his mind. So that they can see that we, you know, something like that, which is just foolish. It's just foolish. What we want is deliverance. We want uh, delivery. We want delivery. We want somebody who is in the office to deliver, to show that they are working and they are producing results. That's the most important thing. Everything else about color, about where you come from, about your region, is not important. Not important at all. So this is a very, very exciting what we are looking at happening. We have seen the soccer also crumbling, going down. So remember the netball team. The netball team tried so hard, tried, and they were reaching very, very high levels, but only to hear that they were struggling to have money for food. Just imagine when they were out there. And yet they were performing. They were one of the best teams there. And unfortunately, this is the scenario that you find. Just imagine, just food, just food. And when you compare how much the food would be needed just by a netball team, a team of maybe 15 people, but... Uh, ZANU-PF has so many billions that they can give to Week No Chivayo, but they can't just access money uh, to give to those girls just for those, you know, just one week or, or so that they are competing out there representing the country. So, and, and we expect things to work. We expect this, our country to prosper. We can't. 
Right now, we don't have soccer stadiums. We have to have other teams playing in Rwanda, other teams having to go to Zambia, where there are stadiums that are better. And yet, there is quite a lot of money that is flying around, and that money could be used to develop Zimbabwe, to build infrastructure for sporting activities, and make things work. There are many people that are more competent than the son of Makarao and son of George in Zimbabwe. But unfortunately, their skills are not being harvested. Their skills are not also being promoted. They don't have the facilities. There is no one who is there to identify the skill and then upgrade those, those people. And then we can have better people running there. You see, the American guy who was the face of the Olympics last time has been beaten by a Mutsuana, a guy from Mutsuana. So if a guy from Mutsuana can come, number one, we can also have a guy from Zimbabwe coming one. And we also, Zambia has a medal. There's somebody from Zambia who came with a medal with Zimbabwe, Dololo, zero, nothing, nada. All because ZANU PF and the way that they are running the country is total, total disaster. This is the time that we are saying as the Zimbabwean people, rise up Zimbabwe. Our demonstration is on. We are not looking back. We are not bowing down. Let's rise up for our demonstration. We will continue to push push and push and push until we shall set our country free until we shall start to work to make Zimbabwe work again. ZANU-PF's days are over. ZANU-PF's days are numbered and ZANU-PF must know it and they should know that the people of Zimbabwe are taking back their, their power. We want our power back and we are going to choose leaders who are going to represent Zimbabwe, who are going to save Zimbabwe, who are going to allow Zimbabwe to grow, allow Zimbabwe to prosper. And we will continue to have at least some good record about Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe also being in the news for the good reasons, not always for the bad reasons, like what we continue to see with ZANPF and Emerson Nangab. So this is what it is, family. Very, very exciting. And we will continue to be giving you updates throughout the day. We have many shows that are still coming. So for those that are joining us for the very first time, subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Remain blessed. Till we meet in the upcoming shows.